If you can't feel your back when doing pull-ups or have problems building your back in the first place, try the following three quick fixes. First, try a higher rep range. Of course, there's nothing wrong with testing your limits and improving your max strength, but working in a 1 to 3 RM rep range all the time will not lead to a better back development. This is very important, especially for beginners who still need to develop their muscle mind connection. The harder the progression and the lower the rep range, the more you are likely to use other muscles and make huge mistakes just to get your chin over the bar. So if you really want to feel and build your back, it's necessary to lower the intensity every now and then. In other words, swallow your ego and include easier progressions that allow you to work in medium and high rep ranges. The easier the progression, the more you can focus on the correct technique and the muscles you want to target in the first place. The second fix is to pull from your back instead of your arms. Instead of using your hands to pull yourself up, just put all of your focus into moving your elbows down and back. Imagine you want to resist someone standing behind you pushing your elbows forward. Another trick is to use a band and fix it right behind your elbow. This is not really recommended for real workouts, but could help you with the right imagination. Summed up, try to pull from your back with the driving force of your elbows while the forearms, the biceps and the brachialis only assist the movement. The third fix is about the body alignment. If you mainly want to work on your back width, you have to focus on the lats. The best way to do this is by aiming for a hollow body position with a neutral spine. If you want to work on back thickness, you have to focus on muscles like the middle and lower traps, the rhomboids, the rear delts and the teres major. Here you aim for an arched spine with maximum elbow extension and scapular retraction. Just imagine it like doing rows in a pull-up position. This execution is very challenging and requires some experience. So we suggest focusing on hollow body pull-ups for the lats and targeting the other muscles with regular row exercises. The arched back pull-up is still a nice all-rounder when it comes to back development. You should at least try it once you've passed a certain level of experience. That could be somewhere around 10 clean regular pull-ups. No matter which execution you choose, always make sure to not shrug your shoulders. This is nothing more than a compensation that can lead to overused and tight upper traps while shifting the focus away from the muscles you want to develop. Alright guys, if you want a complete workout program that implements those tips, you should join our calisthenics online courses on kellymove.com. Just pick the right course for your level and your goals and you're ready to start. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications. My name is Alex and I see you in the next video.